Oliver Cromwell, the Lord Protector of the Commonwealth. Oliver Cromwell, a central figure in English history, is renowned for his role in the English Civil War and his subsequent leadership as Lord Protector of the Commonwealth of England, Scotland, and Ireland. His life was marked by profound political upheaval, religious fervor, and a decisive impact on the course of British history. Cromwell was born on April 25, 1599, in Huntingdon, England. Coming from a family of modest means, he received a good education and later pursued studies at the University of Cambridge. In his early years, he lived the life of a country gentleman, engaging in farming and local politics. The English Civil War, which erupted in 1642, pitted the forces of Parliament, led by the Puritans and their leader Cromwell, against the Royalists, who supported King Charles I. Cromwell's military leadership and religious convictions would make him a prominent figure in the conflict. His army, known as the New Model Army, was disciplined, well-organized, and highly effective. Cromwell's military prowess was evident in several key battles, including the Battle of Marston Moor and the Battle of Naseby. His leadership helped secure victory for the parliamentarian forces, leading to the capture and later execution of King Charles I in 1649. Following the king's execution, Cromwell played a vital role in the establishment of the Commonwealth of England. This marked a revolutionary period in English history, as it temporarily abolished the monarchy and established a republic. In 1653, Cromwell was appointed as Lord Protector, effectively becoming the head of state. Cromwell's rule as Lord Protector was characterized by a strong, centralized government and a commitment to religious and political reforms. He was a devout Puritan and sought to promote religious tolerance and morality. However, his tenure was also marked by harsh measures against Catholics and Royalists, leading to criticism of his rule. One of the most contentious events of Cromwell's rule was the invasion of Ireland. In 1649, he launched a campaign to suppress the Irish Catholic Confederation, leading to widespread atrocities and the deaths of thousands. The subsequent Cromwellian conquest of Ireland resulted in the confiscation of Irish land and the forced transportation of many Irish to the West Indies as indentured laborious. Cromwell's foreign policy was marked by a confrontational approach to Catholic powers, particularly Spain and the Papal States. This was evident in the Anglo-Spanish War and his aggressive stance against Catholicism. Cromwell's rule as Lord Protector was characterized by its authoritarian nature, with him dissolving Parliament and governing through a military council. He faced challenges both from within and outside the government, with several conspiracies and uprisings. In 1658, Cromwell died, and his son Richard succeeded him as Lord Protector, but he was unable to maintain his father's control over the government. The restoration of the monarchy in 1660 saw the return of Charles II, the son of the executed King Charles I. Cromwell's body was exhumed, and he was posthumously tried and executed in effigy as a symbolic act of retribution against his role in the regicide of Charles I. Cromwell's legacy is a complex one. He is celebrated as a champion of Parliament and a key figure in the establishment of English republicanism. His military leadership and devotion to the Puritan cause are well remembered. However, his harsh measures and religious intolerance, particularly in Ireland, remain controversial and a source of historical debate. Oliver Cromwell's life and rule are a testament to the tumultuous nature of the English Civil War and the profound impact of religious and political convictions on the course of history. His legacy continues to be the subject of historical analysis and debate, reflecting the complexities of his role in shaping the destiny of England. The End Please subscribe my YouTube channel Teddy's Best Storytime. See you next time.